And um, Neil, because uh, because it was already brought up about the 13 percent or whatever that haven't been tested, could you maybe start with explaining sure, which absolutely. cities and towns have been tested and who's who has how have people been notified? Yes, thank you, uh, Vice Chair and, and members of the committee, for letting us uh, come to give you an update on uh, how the Department of Health has been uh, responding to PFAS uh, in our water system. Um, in attached to the letter that the director uh, provided the committee is kind of the results of our is the results of our testing um, that we've been doing since 2017. Um, like the gentleman before me said, to date we've tested um, roughly 87 percent of all the water in the state, which is more uh, more comprehensive testing than any other state has done. So we can confidently say we have a better idea of um, the levels of PFAS in our water than um, any other state. So um, we at the department are very proud of the, the work we've been able to do to assess the situation um, right now with water. Of course, there's more work to be done. There's still a 13 percent, most of which are private wells. Um, but uh, we will um, do everything we can to um, uh, make sure we can reach as, as, as many folks as possible um, to get accurate testing results. Uh, to my right is Dr. Uh, Michael Burns. He's the state's toxicologist. Mike is here to kind of walk you through um, where we are currently. So. Uh, we, we've done uh, a lot of testing and sampling across the state and where we are in the process of regulating PFAS and setting an MCL um, is a process that we've been working on for about a year now um, and it's a very um, uh, evidence-based scientific review of the latest research uh, available on PFAS uh, and we've been working with uh, multiple different uh, experts in the field um, to try to come up with uh, an idea of what a safe level of uh, um, uh, PFAS is in uh, a water system. It's, 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 it's a very difficult process. This uh, science is emerging. Um, and where we end up setting an MCL will have um, repercussions for the state um, uh, fiscal impact. Um, uh, in regards to water rates and upfront costs that we will need to do remediation uh, in our uh, in our water systems, so it's delicate balance um, uh, of what we're able to do with testing and require um, of folks, and and we're in that process now. We hope to have some draft regulations ready in the current months for um, the public to. Um, uh, look at along with uh, our analysis, our cost benefit analysis, which we're required to do before we regulate, um, before we promulgate any regulations. Um, and looking forward to working with the community to come to um, uh, a, uh, an MCL that everybody uh, is comfortable with. Um, and uh, look forward to working with everyone going forward. So I'll turn it over to Mike just to walk through what he's been doing over the past. Um, year now and uh, feel free to ask us any questions. 